Hey everyone and welcome to this deep dive. We're going to be talking all about the best home EV chargers out there. Yeah, that's right. You know, those things have gotten really good lately. They have, and there are so many options. Exactly. So we're going to break it all down for you. We'll look at different chargers for different needs and budgets. Hopefully make it easier for you to choose the perfect one for your EV. All right, so let's start with our pick for best overall. The ChargePoint Home Flex. Ah, the Home Flex. Yeah, this one is a real standout, especially for people who are new to EVs. OK, I'm curious. Why do you say that? Well, one thing that's super cool about it is how it connects with the ChargePoint public charging network. Ah, so you're not just limited to charging at home. Exactly. You can use the same app and account for both home and public charging. So it's like having a universal charging key. That's a great way to put it. No more juggling multiple apps or memberships. That's so convenient, especially yeah. if you're on the go a lot. Totally. And the app itself is really impressive, too. Yeah, I was checking it out. It's got some pretty detailed cost tracking features. Oh yeah, it's super detailed. You can actually see how much each charging session costs down to the penny. Really? Wow, so you can really track your spending and see how much you're saving by driving electric? Exactly, and you can even compare costs at different times of day. So you can figure out when it's cheapest to charge. Exactly, take advantage of those off-peak rates. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the convenience of the public network and the detailed cost tracking. What else does the HomeFlex have going for it? Well, it's also got some really nice design features like built-in cord management. Oh yeah, I noticed that. No need for any extra accessories. Just yeah. wrap the cable around the built-in notch. Exactly. It keeps things nice and tidy in the garage. I like that. Okay, but I'm guessing all these features come at a price. What's the damage on the HomeFlex? It's true, the HomeFlex is a bit pricier than some other chargers out there. But you're paying for quality and convenience. Yeah, I'd say so. You get top-notch features that seamless integration with the ChargePoint network and peace of mind knowing it's gonna work flawlessly. Makes sense. Okay, so if you're looking for a charger that just works and you're willing to invest a little more, the ChargePoint HomeFlex is a great option. Absolutely, it's our top pick for a reason. To find the best deals on the ChargePoint HomeFlex, click the link in the description. Now, if you're more data-driven and like to really dive deep into your energy usage. Ooh, tell me more. I love data. All right, well then you might want to check out the Emporia EV charger. Okay, what's special about this one? This charger is all about giving you a complete picture of your home's energy consumption. Okay. So it's not just focused on the EV charging. Right, it actually integrates with Emporia's smart home energy monitoring system. Interesting, so if you're already using their system, this is a no-brainer. Exactly, you can see exactly how much energy your EV is using, how it impacts your electricity bill, and even make adjustments to optimize your usage. So it's like having a personal energy advisor right in your pocket. Exactly. You can really geek out on the data and make informed decisions about your energy use. I love it. So this is a great option for people who are already in the Emporia ecosystem. Absolutely. But even if you're not, it's still a really solid charger. Okay, what about the app? I know some people have mentioned that it can be a bit cluttered. Yeah, that's a fair point. The app is designed to manage Emporia's entire smart home system. So if you're just using it for the EV charger, it can feel a bit overwhelming at first. Uh, I see. So it's like having a Swiss Army knife when all you really need is a screwdriver. Exactly. It's powerful, but maybe not the most streamlined if you're only using it for one thing. But hey, if you're into the data and the price is right, I can see why this would be appealing. And speaking of price, the Emporia EV charger is significantly cheaper than a lot of the competition. Yeah, you mentioned it's our best value pick, so I'm guessing it's pretty budget friendly. It is. You get a lot of bang for your buck with this one. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And before we move on, you mentioned that the Emporia charger is a bit of a speed demon. Oh yeah. It's got a powerful 11.5 kilowatt output. So it can charge your EV significantly faster than a standard outlet. Wow. That's impressive. So if you're looking to minimize charging time, this is a good option. For sure. Just keep in mind that your EV's onboard charger will also play a role in the actual charging speed. Right, it's a dance between the charger and the- Exactly. But the Emporia charger definitely has the potential to get you back on the road quickly. All right, so we've got a data-driven speed demon of a charger that's also easy on the wallet. I like it. Me too. It's a great option for a lot of people. To snag this budget-friendly powerhouse, click the link in the description. Okay, so now let's talk about future-proofing. Ooh, future-proofing. That sounds intriguing. Yeah, you know, thinking ahead, making sure your charging setup can handle whatever the future throws at it. I like that. 
So what are we talking about specifically? Well, the Tesla Universal Wall Connector is a great example of a charger that's built for the future. Okay, I'm listening. Why is that? The key here is the built-in adapter. It can switch between the standard J1772 plug and Tesla's own NACS plug. So you can charge pretty much any EV on the market with this one. Exactly. Both now and in the future, regardless of the brand. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. It takes away a lot of the uncertainty about what the future of charging might hold. Right. You don't have to worry about your charger becoming obsolete if you decide to switch to a different EV brand down the line. Okay, so this is a great option for people who are considering adding another EV to their garage in the future. Absolutely. Or even if you just want to be prepared for any changes in technology. I like it. But hold on. Don't adapters have a tendency to go missing? Like socks in the dryer. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a good point. But they actually thought of that with this one. The adapter is electronically locked into place. Oh, wow. That's smart. So it's not going anywhere. Nope. It's a clever little detail that shows they've really thought about user experience. Okay. I'm impressed. Yeah. And what about the Tesla app? Does this charger integrate with that? Absolutely. You get complete control over charging schedules, real-time monitoring of energy usage, and even over-the-air firmware updates. So it's a connected charger. That's pretty standard these days, but still important. It is. It gives you that extra level of control and convenience. All right, so the Tesla Universal Wall Connector sounds like a great option for people who want to future-proof their charging setup. Yeah. But what about the price? It's a bit pricier than the standard Tesla Wall Connector. Makes sense. You're paying for that extra flexibility and peace of mind. Right. But if you're in it for the long haul, it's definitely worth considering. Good point. To explore the Tesla Universal Wall Connector and its future-proof features, Click the link in the description. Now let's talk about another Tesla charger, the Tesla Wall Connector. This one is specifically for Tesla owners, right? Yeah, this is the go-to charger if you're already deep in the Tesla ecosystem. So it's all about that seamless Tesla experience. Exactly. It integrates seamlessly with all Tesla models and gives you complete control over charging through the Tesla app. No surprises there. Tesla's all about integration and that smooth user experience. Absolutely. And let's be honest, Tesla's chargers just look good. Yeah, they have that sleek, minimalist aesthetic. Exactly. This charger is no exception. It blends right in with the modern design of Tesla vehicles. Okay, and what about performance? Does this one hold back on power? Not at all. The Tesla wall connector can deliver up to 44 miles of range per hour of charge. Wow. That's plenty of juice to get you back on the road quickly. Yeah, you won't be waiting around for hours for your car to charge with this one. So if you're a Tesla owner who values convenience integration and sleek design, the Tesla wall connector is a solid choice. It's a no-brainer for a lot of Tesla owners. To learn more about this Tesla-centric charger and find the best deals, click the link in the description. All right, now let's shift gears a bit and talk about budget-friendly options. Yes, let's talk about saving some money because these EV chargers can get pricey. They can, but you don't have to break the bank to get a reliable charger. What would you recommend for someone who's on a tighter budget? The Grizzly Level 2 is a great option. Okay, what makes this one stand out in the affordability department? Well, first of all, it's built like a tank. It's got heavy-duty construction and a thick, robust cable that can withstand a lot of wear and tear. So it's built to last. That's important for something you're going to be using every day. Absolutely. Yeah. And despite its ruggedness, it's surprisingly easy to install. Oh, that's good to hear DIY friendly. You can hardwire it or plug it into a standard 1450R outlet. If you're comfortable with a bit of DIY, you can probably handle it yourself. Nice. Yeah. But as always, safety first. If you're not sure, it's best to call an electrician. Definitely better safe than sorry. OK, so it's durable, easy to install. Ah, what else? It's also got a detachable mounting bracket. Interesting. What's that for? It allows you to easily transport the charger between locations. So if you need to move it to a different garage or take it with you on a trip, it's no problem. That's actually really handy. I can see that being useful. And despite its budget-friendly price, it doesn't skimp on charging speed. Really? How fast are we talking? It can deliver around 28 to 30 miles of range per hour. Not bad at all. Yeah. Especially considering the price. Yeah, you're getting a lot of value for your money with this one. If you're looking for a reliable and cost-effective way to charge your EV at home, the Grizzly Level 2 is worth checking out. Absolutely, it's a solid option. To find the best deals on this budget-friendly workhorse, click the link in the description. Okay, so for our final charger, we've got the EVQO Level 2. All right, and this one is our pick for best performance. Exactly. This one is all about combining high output with user-friendly features. So it's a bit of a powerhouse. It is, but it's also surprisingly compact. 
Ah, so it won't take up a ton of space in your garage. Nope. It's a good option if you're working with limited space. I like that. Yeah. What else makes this one stand out? Well, it's got some cool features like novel anti-theft hardware. Anti-theft. That's interesting. Tell me more. Yeah, so if you're installing the charger outdoors, this gives you some extra peace of mind. Because EV chargers are becoming more desirable targets for theft. They are, unfortunately. So this is a good feature to have if you're concerned about that. Makes sense. And what about the cable? How long is it? It's got a nice long 25 foot cable. So you'll have plenty of reach in most garages. Exactly. And it also comes with a user-friendly app. So you can monitor your charging schedule sessions and all that good stuff. Exactly. And the price is pretty competitive too. So it's a good value overall. Yeah, I'd say so. If you want to dive deeper into the EVIQO level two and see if it's the performance beast you've been looking for, click the link in the description. All right, so there you have it. Those are our top picks for home EV chargers. We've got something for everyone. Whether you're looking for convenience, performance, affordability, or future-proofing. There's a charger out there that's perfect for your needs. And hopefully this deep dive has made the decision a little bit easier. And I know we focused on specific chargers so far. Right. But let's zoom out a bit. Okay. Let's talk about some general factors to consider when choosing a charger. Yeah, that's a good idea. And one thing that often gets overlooked is cord length. Oh yeah, cord length is super important. It can really make or break your charging experience. Exactly. Imagine having to park your EV in a very specific spot in your garage just to reach the outlet. Oh, I can see that being a pain. It is. A longer cord gives you more flexibility and makes the whole process much smoother. So what's a good rule of thumb for cord length? It depends on your garage setup and parking habits, yeah. but generally around 20 to 25 feet is a good starting point. Okay, so that gives you enough reach without the cable becoming a tripping hazard? Exactly. And luckily, most reputable brands offer a variety of cord lengths, so you can choose the one that works best for you. So don't be afraid to measure your garage and think about how you typically park your EV. Exactly. A little planning can go a long way. Now let's talk about speed. Speed. Charging speed. Ah, yes. Well, we touched on it briefly with the individual chargers, right. but let's break it down a bit further. Okay. What are the key factors that influence how quickly an EV charges at home? Well, it's not just about the charger itself. Okay, so there are other factors at play. There are. It's actually a combination of things. Like what? You've got the output capability of the charger, the onboard charger capacity of your EV, and the amperage of the circuit you're using. So it's a three-way handshake. Exactly. If one of those is lagging behind, it's going to slow down the whole process. Interesting. So how can people figure out the optimal charging speed for their specific setup? The best thing to do is to check the specs of your EV and your home's electrical system. So look at the owner's manual for the car. Exactly. Mm. And if you're not sure about your electrical system, it's always a good idea to consult a qualified electrician. Good point. They can assess your wiring and circuits and tell you what you can safely handle. Exactly. Safety first. Always. All right, so we've covered a lot of ground. We have. We've talked about specific chargers. Different features to consider. Safety tips. Even some future trends. It's been a lot of information. It has, but hopefully it's been helpful. I think so. I've definitely learned a lot. Me too. And I think the main takeaway here is that there's a charger out there for everyone. Exactly. No matter your needs or budget. You can find a charger that's perfect for you. So do your research. Explore the options we've discussed. And don't be afraid to ask questions. That's right. We're always here to help. And remember, you can find links to all the chargers we've mentioned in the description below. Be sure to check them out. And find the perfect charger for your EV lifestyle. And if you enjoyed this deep dive. And found it helpful. Please hit that like button. And subscribe to our channel for more EV insights, uh -huh. tips, and tech deep dives. We'll be back soon with more exciting content. Until then, happy charging everyone. Mm.